Hi everybody, it's your virtual technology teacher, Mr. Whalen here. Hoping you're having a great, great day. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our Tech Ventures class today. Today, for part one, we're gonna go be, uh, be going straight to typing.com and we're gonna be getting into a lesson called period and comma. I happen to have typing.com available to me. And what I wanted to do today was, I just wanted to go through the lessons and remind you of the proper finger placement and technique for each of the letters that we've gone through so far. This won't take uh, too long. I'm gonna put my fingertips on the home row keys. A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon. And when we look at the first lesson called J, F, and space, J, F, and space, what we're doing with J is we have our right pointer finger on J, so it's pretty easy to press J. Left pointer finger is on F, so we use our left finger. And then we have our thumbs on the space bar. Boys and girls, the only keys that you use your thumbs for are the space bar. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes I see students do some of these bottom row keys with their thumb. Maybe it's an old habit, but it's certainly not what typing.com and your friendly teacher, Mr. Whalen, is teaching you. Only your thumbs on the space. Next, the letters U, R, and K. So the letter U, we take our right pointer finger, goes to U. For the letter R, it's our pointer finger. Recently, I've seen some students try using that middle finger. And if you think of our drawing, our keyboard drawing, they go on diagonals like this. So left pointer finger for R. Left middle finger, if I move it out of the way, it's already on the letter K. So we use our right middle finger. If I said left, we use our right middle finger for K. Next lesson, D, E, and I. Now we're going to go to that left middle finger. You can see both D and E are right there. The left middle finger is for D and E. And they really seem to like the middle finger for this lesson. We go over to the right hand and the letter I goes up for the right hand. Next we have C, G, and N. So the letter C is often done wrong. If I were to have you tape your, uh, record yourself and send in a video, Many students would probably be using the wrong finger. You want to use your middle finger for this. It goes down to the letter C. And you just want to touch that corner of the letter C. What finger do you think people do it wrong with sometimes? Well, maybe the one that you are, that pointer finger. This is incorrect. You have your middle finger come down for C. For the letter G, I think most kids are going over from F. And for the letter N, we take our right pointer finger and it goes down from J to N. We had beginner review one. That's a 25 point lesson. If you haven't earned 25 points, feel free to earn full credit by resubmitting it with a good accuracy. Next are the letters T, S, and L. Left pointer finger goes up to T. So that left pointer finger covers both R and T on that top row. If I move my hand out of the way, you'll see the letter S. Our left ring finger is already on the letter S. And again, the other ring finger, our right ring finger is on the letter L, so we use the ring finger. Scrolling on down, we've been working on the lesson called O, B, and A. And for the letter O, we take our right ring finger and it goes up to O. I was watching Jeopardy recently and there was a question on Jeopardy about which vowel was furthest right on the QWERTY keyboard. The QWERTY keyboard, by the way, Q-W-E-R-T-Y, that's the keyboard that we use, the QWERTY keyboard. And only one person in the group knew that it was the letter O. So we use our right ring finger to go up for the letter O. The letter B, I've seen some people using their thumbs, but we don't do that. We want to take that left pointer finger and it goes to B, left pointer finger. Not the right pointer finger, not the thumb, the left pointer finger. The letter A, if I move my hand out of the way a little bit there, you can see the letter A, and our uh, left pinky is already there, so we use the left pinky. Uh, v, H, and M, our most recent lesson, we're going to use that left pointer finger down for V. Our right pointer finger moves over a little bit from J for the letter H, and we use that also for the letter M down here. That right pointer finger covers both N and M. And today's lesson period and comma. We're going to be using our middle finger and ring fingers on the right hand for a comma. You're going to see typing.com have you come down with your middle finger. And for a period, it's going to be your ring finger coming down. So they go like this on those diagonals, comma and period. 
Notice this whole time I've kept my fingertips in contact with the home row. You don't want to have your fingers spread out and be going like this. You should have your fingers in contact with the home row keys and be moving the fingers when it's necessary. You don't move your hands when you type. You just move your fingers. Period and comma. Now, as you're working on this lesson, you might get a little bit confused about which one goes which. If you think of a sentence, a comma always comes before a period, and so it is on the keyboard as well. The comma comes first, followed by the period. So, comma and period. Okay guys, you finished the typing lesson at typing.com called period and comma. Hopefully you're not worried about going fast. Our goal there is to get good at typing by using proper technique. And if you know how to type with good technique, you'll get faster and faster. As we look at part two, we're going to now take a quick look at 25 keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we started this slide on a previous day. We don't have a whole lot to show you today. I'm going to switch over to my slide. You'll notice I've made some additions here. I've just put in some blanks. And the reason I did that was because I'm, I'm trying to get up to 25. Now, you guys don't put in blanks like this. I just don't want to give you guys all 25 answers. So I'm going to paste some more in here. Till I get to 25. And now I have 25. You'll notice that my text size of uh, 14 is too big. I'm spilling off the slide. I'm falling out of the text box. So as you get down close to or to number 25, see if you can find a font size that's going to fit, that's going to work. Whatever font size I land on here doesn't necessarily mean it's the one that you'll be using. I'm down to an 11. I'm going to try a 10.5. Yeah, for me, a 10.5 works. So just get a, a font size where all 25 are going to be inside this text box. And then one other thing. We'd like to get a picture, and the picture is going to be related to keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to go under Google Images. Um, you guys are not required to use the very same picture that I am going to. Although, if you'd like to, you can. This one here looks pretty good, keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to drag that onto my slide. <clears throat> Position it. I'm going to have it fill up as much of that other third of the slide as I can and try to get it centered there. And, and that's looking pretty good. That's a nice picture. You can use a different picture. It does not need to be that picture. Hopefully, soon you'll be able to finish 25 keyboard shortcuts. And at that point, continue the video after you've got those. Check out Schoology. There's going to be some instructions there for one other thing as well. that you have time to do one more thing on your portfolio today. Hopefully by now you have 25 keyboard shortcuts along with a picture. And remember, because I'm the teacher, I was allowed to put blanks in here, but you're putting actual shortcuts. Don't turn it in today. There's not an assignment that exists yet for it, but there will be soon and we'll be turning this in for a 25 point grade. So make sure you get this finished. Next up, we're going to create a new slide. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this slide. We're going to have a new slide 10. We're going to get rid of the stuff that's on this slide. And we're going to rename our new slide 10 Icons. I-C-O-N-S. 
I'd like you to have a table here for the icon slide. We're going to insert a table. And this table should be a three by two table. Three by two. When it's inserted, I'd like you to stretch it out so it fills up the remaining space. We'll need to make a couple adjustments to it. We're using these dot handles along the border of the table to stretch it out across the remaining part of our slide. And this line right here in the middle, this horizontal line that's dividing the middle, see that double arrow? With it being a double arrow, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this up so it's more like that. And this is an adjustment that I was telling you we, we're going to need to make. We're going to then want to drag it back down to the bottom. Now that does a nice job of letting me go into this text or this cell right here. And I'm going to center. In fact, I'm going to do all three of these. We're only typing in one of them today. But I'd like your insertion point to be centered and middled and bold. When we type in here, we're going to go ahead and type in the name of the first icon that's going to go in here, which is going to be your tech. Ventures 6.0 icon. And what you're going to do is back here on your drawing where you've been working on it, remember you might have two or three or four. I'd like you to select your best one, your favorite one. If it were entered in into, a, into a contest, which one do you think might help you to win that contest? What you should do is take a partial screenshot of it. Oh, I did it again. I'm going to take a partial screenshot. Copy to clipboard. And Control V paste. And we're just going to get this so it can be the largest set it can be. It still fits within that cell. So I'll just make a couple adjustments. I should have told you this with the border um, straight off too. Uh, set it for black lines. And if you want to thicken them up a little bit, maybe two pixels so they're a little bit more visible. That should be pretty good right about there. I'm going to see if I can get it centered there. Yeah, something like that. Um, I might zoom in after I'm done with you guys and see if I can get it to fit a little bit better. But you're going to want your favorite Tech Ventures 6.0 icon to be um, in this cell right here. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to finish the typing lesson called period and comma. Finish 25 keyboard shortcuts. Also create our new slide 10 called icons and put your favorite Tech Ventures 6.0 icon onto this slide.